Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have filmed this video a couple times and I'm really hoping this is it. Giving you this update and hoping that this is the last like personal thing I share on this channel and we can go back to doing more fashion content that I like to create way more than like all this personal stuff, but I already started it. So we are going to finish this chapter. As you saw in the title and thumbnail, I went to go get my biopsy and I have the results and I'm going to tell you about everything and I just hope this video can give someone peace and that's why I decided to put this whole journey online because I was so afraid whenever I was like finding out about every step of the way like it seemed terrifying and I like I don't know, YouTube is a place to turn to to see other people's experiences. So let's backtrack. Um, I went to go get my biopsy on April 12th. It was a Tuesday morning. It was seven in the morning and I went into the biopsy center and it was like next to all these medical buildings and hospitals and all that stuff is super triggering to me. I don't I don't do well in that sort of environment so that was already in itself overwhelming and then the next thing that I had to struggle with was like not being able to have anyone to come with me inside because of COVID like I had to go in alone even though I had support um it was really brutal like being feeling like I had to face it like go in by myself so I walked in and I filled out a bunch of paperwork and I sat and I waited like in the initial waiting room. Then they took me back to get changed. That's when I changed into my robe and you keep your pants on, you keep everything on like waist down, but then waist up, you just take your bra and your top off. Then they had me sit in another waiting room, the ultrasound waiting. They did an ultrasound all over my left breast, which is like where the issue was. And I was super emotional. I feel like I was like such a crybaby throughout this entire process because my emotions were running really, really high. I was so afraid and nervous. I didn't know what to expect. It was like the unknown also like, the ultrasound technician that worked with me to like the f very first time that I found out I needed to get the biopsy, sirens. She made it out to be like worst case scenario. The way she explained it to me was like, there's something wrong. She didn't say maybe there's something wrong. She was like, this is bad. So I was already going into the entire experience like terrified. Um, not to mention I have like PTSD with medical like stuff. So anyway, um, I am laying there and then what happens is the doctor comes in and she gave me numbing injections all like ugh, I don't even know how many times she poked me at least like maybe four times like numbing my entire breast that you could feel the needle going in and it's like not a good feeling um but to be honest with you like I've had Botox and filler and I was just like if I could do that I can do this this isn't as fun as like a cosmetic procedure where it's just like all for fun this is something really serious so it's definitely a different feeling um i was really afraid it numbs really quickly so she numbed it all and then she put this really loud like whatever machine like whatever it's used to like take the biopsy like take the cells or whatever's in there there's like a i don't know it didn't look i had my eyes closed it was just really loud and it so sounded like a shoot like a like a loud i'm trying to like think of a, a sound like like a loud like like kind of like a loud sound maybe think of like getting your ears pierced like that kind of like sh like i don't know i'm trying to like equate it to something but it's just like this like machine that goes inside and she did it about three times and every time it makes a loud noise and then she says like whenever she's gonna do it and she was really patient and really sweet and like i was super overwhelmed and they were very calming and, and nice and i'm really thankful for that i was also expressing my concern when i was laying there i was like um the ultrasound technician made it out to be horrifying like she basically told me it was bad and they both looked at each other the woman who was doing the ultrasound and the woman who was doing the biopsy they both looked at each other and they were like pissed they were like we need to call that office like Number one, I think that's illegal. Number two, um, she could be scaring other people and like, I don't know, it's a bad situation. So they were very shocked when I explained what had happened like initially, but the doctor didn't say I was fine, but she gave me so much relief because she said she thought it was benign and I think she was almost positive it was benign. I got dressed and I went home. 
I just finished right now. It was nearly, like, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And now I'm going to get dressed and go home, get coffee maybe, get a treat after that really rough morning. So I, like, got coffee. I treated myself, got a little scone. But to be honest with you guys, I had a crazy busy week. Like, the day before my biopsy, I had Coachella fitting. I had six Coachella fittings for my clients. My clients... Like I had so many clients attending this year, so it was like insane. I can put in footage right now of like, I had my fittings at the Mondrian and it was so great because it took my mind off of the fear and it took my mind off of everything that I was going through in my personal life. I had a couple fittings the day after, not the day I did my biopsy, but I think the following day, but I didn't carry anything. You're not supposed to carry anything heavy. It's super sore. It was like sore for three days tender it wasn't like excruciating pain it's still bruised and it's been quite some time um but i don't know i think it's just because of like it's like a tender area so after that i also had coachella fittings and it was good because it kept my mind off of it and then i got a call the call was literally the most stressful thing i was shaking because the, the lady on the phone she was like oh like do you have time to hear your results i was like um yeah, obviously, of course, I want to know what's going on. Like, the way she did it, and, like, she asked me a million questions before she, like, read me the results. And, um, thank God everything came back fine. I will insert a clip of when I found out. Hey, guys, I'm so happy. I literally just had to grab my vlog camera and share with you guys the news that I got. My doctor just called me, and everything came back fine. I feel so emotional i feel like i am can't even process every all the stress that i've been through and everything i just feel the biggest relief and i feel just so grateful to god and so thankful that everything came back perfect and healthy i can't i can't even process it because i had so many fears and like negative things in my mind and i was just thinking the worst and expecting the worst obviously i i'm an anxious person so it's easy to just automatically go there in your head and I think most people would and and I just feel like I can't I express how grateful and thankful that I am to have gotten those results and oh my gosh they told me that everything was fine it was just like a what did they say benign fibroid so like benign tissue that like looked maybe concerning but everything turned out to be perfectly fine I'm just like texting my friends and my family and just trying to be in this moment and like and have i just have so much gratitude and so much happiness and relief and like good things are coming i've been through a lot in the past month and i just feel very happy and hopeful and i just want to let anyone know that if you're going through anything similar or you have a health scare like definitely definitely absolutely go in take care of it check into it look into it i know that it can be scary when i arrived to the breast um biopsy center the nurse was like a lot of women like don't even come in is it going to be good news is it going to be bad news they rather not know and they don't go in so i recommend for you to go do your mammogram do your biopsies if you have to do anything like that um don't put it off it's easier said than done, but if they find anything by any chance, like you you went in early and you are just going to take care of it. And that was like my mindset. Like I thought something was going to be there that I had to like, you know, treat or take care of. And it turned out that I don't have to go through that. And I just can't, I just keep like thinking about that. So that was my experience. It was so emotional. I feel like I'm going to cry. It was really emotional because people in my life who I thought were very like supportive and very a huge part of my life made me feel really bad for being afraid but your your fears are completely completely valid so if you're going to go get an ultrasound and you're afraid or if you're going to go get a biopsy and you're afraid it's okay to be afraid and it's completely normal like you have to you are battling with the idea that something can be very wrong and it's normal and natural and okay to be afraid. So I had to also go through that. Um, I went through a really bad breakup. I went through all of this within like a couple weeks. So I feel very relieved to say the least that all of that is in the past and now I can move forward and be stronger and be healthy and be like 
the best version of myself and learn so many lessons and learn how strong I am. Like you can face these tough things and you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be stronger. Um, and it's really like the fear of the unknown. I'm sure if you've Googled this or I'm sure if you've looked this up, you're probably nervous about it or maybe you've even been through it. But I just wanna say thank you for everyone who left me really sweet, kind comments and messages and texts and like everyone who was there for me throughout this, like it made a huge difference. So I just wanna make this video for anyone who might be going through something like you're gonna be okay and whatever it is, you will be able to overcome. I hope this is able to maybe help someone. I'm gonna leave this here and maybe continue to make fashion content. I'm over posting super personal things on here, but I just thought I had to kind of finish that, close that chapter. And I can't wait to see you guys in a new video where it's just fun and positive and uplifting. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in a new video very, very soon.